Hi guys, welcome. It's been, oh my goodness, a very, very, very long time since we've played this game, but uh, the time is now. We are playing it again. And my goodness, it was so long in between the last episode and the one before that is two, so shame on me. Hopefully I'm not going to make a habit of this. Uh, you know how it is though. Sometimes you just get a little bit uh, bogged down in just like real life stuff. And unfortunately, uh, yeah, I just really have too much time um, these past few weeks and uh, just whatever time I did have has been going towards uh, City Skylines. Not to pick, you know, favorites or anything, but you know, I've had trains on my mind. And uh, I've been trying to do some complex train stuff in uh, City Skylines, but you just don't really get enough out of it. So I've been craving some trains. Here we are, ready to go back into it, do some building. Let's have ourselves some fun. So we're over at uh, Port St. Uh, Lucie, and what I was thinking we could do over here, um, this is kind of going uh, based on actually the comment section. So apparently it's actually not too uncommon to have two cities linked by a tram instead of a train. So maybe we could do Amarillo and uh, Port St. Lucie. Maybe we can do one long tram line in between these two. And then in town over here, since we have all these bus lanes, um, let's kind of continue along with that, and then we can do some uh, internal bus routes. And what I'm actually going to do right now is I'm going to pause the game, because our maintenance costs are like through the roof on so many of our train lines right now. And I have one of those like go for broke kind of ideas right here, which I'm, I'm honestly thinking is going to be okay. So it's not really as, uh, as dramatic as, as it's going to sound right now. But what we need to do is make an extraordinarily profitable line uh, between these two places and then beef up in town right here. And then I'm crossing my fingers, you can't see it, but my fingers are crossed on both hands. Um, fingers crossed that we can, I uh, cross it so I can move the mouse, uh, that we can make enough money between these two places that we can now um, afford to do an upgrade of most of these trains here. Because if we look at our lines, like some of them are just, they're not really profitable anymore just because of how old. Like these ones here, they are profitable, but like our maintenance costs, they need to be replaced. And then, uh, oh goodness, some of them are just, yeah, they're, they're bleeding us dry. So, we gotta work on that. Okay, well, for starters, let's do the tram line. So, we'll use some pre-existing roads here, and we're not doing anything too hectic. So, let's do large road, um, tram line, bus line. And just kind of sneaking our way uh, in through here. And, uh... A little bit unrelated, but also slightly related. Have you guys seen the announcement for the new game, which is, I, I want to say, the unofficial predecessor, or, you know, whatever's coming behind uh, next in, in the series, um, from this game company. It's called, uh, oh, goodness, now I've totally lost track of what it's called. Um, uh, Transport Fever. Oh, my goodness, I totally almost lost that. Yeah, Transport Fever. Do a Google search for that or go into YouTube and search for that. They have just a few teaser videos out. And it's essentially this, but imagine a little bit more um, kind of fluid controls with the mechanics, uh, more transportation types like airplanes. Oh my goodness, that's so wild. So check that out. Give those guys a little follow on social media. Tell them you're excited. You know, I think they'll be doing uh, probably some betas, that kind of stuff. So we'll see how that game develops. That should be pretty cool. Okay, so we have our tram coming in. Doing a little loop right around here, which is pretty simple. We'll keep our existing uh, bus stop kind of where it is. Maybe we'll kind of play uh, play with that. Uh, I think we'll replace the bus eventually when we, you know, go from a, go to a train, which will be totally fine. And if we're creative enough, we might maybe find a way to work. Oh gosh, we have a long way to go to to Wilmington. So maybe we can go from Port St. Lucie to Ontario and then to Wilmington, but I don't know if we'll have time for that. That sounds very ambitious and expensive. So maybe we can work on replacing some trains first. I think the bus route is probably more than enough for the moment. Okay, so leaving town, we're now gonna switch to a county road. Take off the bus lanes. And I'm just going a little bit wide, uh, just for the sake of maybe if we add a truck or, you know, truck route or something, right? And then, you know, if, if both cities do grow, there is going to be a need for, you know, more more transportation between the two. So we're being a bit preemptive here. But, yeah, maybe this is a little bit expensive, what we're doing. But I think we're past the point of no return at this point. Okay. You know, I mean, really, because the trams themselves will occupy a lane, right? So for safety and all that other fun stuff, right? So I don't think we're going to worry about buses over in Amarillo. 
So no bus lanes, but we're gonna switch over to a large inner city street. Got our tram tracks on. And you know, we're just simply going in, doing a little uh, loop around here. Making our way back out to a, one of the main streets, I guess. And that's it, heading on back. Okay, so this is super simple. So, just one stop here, maybe one stop there. Might as well just use all four corners, right? That should be enough to kind of govern our little intent. You know what, honestly, why not? Let's put some here too. That way we might get just the faintest amount of in internal traffic, so that might give us a little bit of a boost to, the, up our, uh, to our budget. Okay, and then over here, so that by that same logic, maybe we should just put some uh, some stops in here too. So we get a little bit of inner city tram work. So I'm actually not opposed to putting a tram in here. Maybe we can have like one actual line in addition to this. We'll kind of see the how, how things unfold. And of course, nothing is set in stone. We can always make changes, which is a great part of this game. Though sometimes it's a little intimidating, but we can do it. We like a challenge. All right. Now, routes, new line. Okay, well, let's start um, where it's not so hectic. Over here. They start right here. We'll worry about the, uh, the back part afterwards. Okay, we're just making our way. Making our way downtown. I was thinking some of Carly Rae Jepsen here, but no, that's that's not what's happening. Okay, going this way. And for those of you who have no idea what song that is or what I'm talking about, good. Don't worry. <laughs> we ain't missing anything here. Okay, so we're going in. Just following where the tram tracks are. Maybe we'll go this way, just for the sake of being a little bit different. And we are only getting one side of the street, which is not the end of the world. Because we're pretty close by, but just something to keep an eye on if you're doing something similar in your own city. You don't want to be too far away from from where you're kind of looping. If that makes any sense. Otherwise, people are going to have a hard time kind of walking around. That's why I'm looping around one block. I'm not looping around, say, two blocks. Again, if that makes any sense. Okay, so we're just leaving town. Any, maybe a little bit of in-town traffic you can kind of see. People will actually use that. And even though it might not seem like a lot, I'm sure it will actually help the budget. Same with over here, right? By that same logic. So what we're doing over here is just making ourselves a basic box. And we can just pick whatever direction we really want to go. It doesn't really matter. Like we could have gone, um, you know, this way instead. But we just happen to have chosen this way. Now, I put uh, stops on both sides of the street because eventually we will use both. So we're just kind of saving ourselves the uh, you know, the effort. This goes from 28 back to 1, and then there we go. This is complete. Now, we don't have a train station over here. We do happen to have one over here, but we don't have the tram um, tracks over there. So I did say I want to have a tram come through here. So maybe we can just have one long kind of loop or something. So maybe we can pick that now. And I don't think I have it set where I actually need to have the electric um, overhead rail on for the trams. I think if you want that extra bit of realism, you can add it. I don't remember if we do or not. I can take a look at the options menu, just in case you guys are wondering why I'm not using that. And if it turns out that we do need it, then obviously I can change it. Okay, so this connects over to here to where our existing tram already is. I'm just continuing uh, essentially on the network we already have. And this is just gonna be for one big long loop, maybe two loops, now that I kind of see where we're going with some of these side tracks. The idea though is to make this city more of a focus towards um, buses, and, like these areas, especially since we can't really fit anything else in here. Oh, what a sneaky little road this is. It's gotta be a small bridge, unfortunately. Now, I, I wonder if it really is an issue of space because of the intersections or because of these buildings. 
So we might maybe try something here, just for the sake of being creative. So we're going to get off our um, upgrade tool. I don't think we're going to be able to do it here. We're on a budget too, so we can't really go blasting. Oh my gosh, that is so expensive. So we're not going to do what I was going to try here, but um, if this building wasn't here, hypothetically what I would do is uh, stretch this road out. Because I think really the problem is, is really here versus anything else. Oh, I really am tempted to try this. Do you have any loans? You know, we don't. It's just that's so much money to just try on a gamble. And then we could be really wrong here. So, no, you know what? Let's not do it. Let's, it it's really too much money. Even though I'm very curious. All right, so we're going back to our upgrade over here. Uh, we'll just go a wider road if possible. Looks like we can. It is a shame, though, we're not going to be able to get uh, as much traffic through here as we possibly could, but... C'est la vie. We do have the little backdoor bypass option. Okay, so this completes. I just like to go towards the uh, train uh, station again. And maybe we'll stick to the outskirts. As you can see, we got enough uh, tracks here to make a cool little tram network, but it's not really the main focus of the city. So much of the uh, traffic will come from the buses, which will be pretty cool. <clears throat> Especially when it's all, you know, said and done or whatever. Okay, so... Um, this is now good to go. Maybe what we could do is... Um, oh, right, we're going to put our... I remember now. My goodness, my poor brain. Um, put this in. And I was like, how do we end up over here building this all of a sudden? And I was like, right, that's because we needed... So I want to stay in my, you know, habit of putting this near a train station. So that's how this whole thing just kind of came about. So, my goodness. All right, now I... Do want to take out a little bit of loans just so we can buy um essentially you know, street cars here so what line was that it's a red dark red color one so i think we should be okay just based on the color by our handsome toronto pcca7 street cars which will probably be replaced pretty soon all things considering what year is it we are 19 oh yeah these will probably replace oh boy well you know what we'll buy them and if we if we need to we can always replace them and I'm looking to buy maybe 12. What is that, eight? Okay, so that's 12 right there. Um, we will set these all to that new line. Oh, line 47, perfect. And we'll put it on three speed. We will cross our fingers that these are gonna be a very, very profitable route for us. Otherwise, we're gonna be in very big trouble because this is a very big gamble. But um, look at this, people are already waiting, so I I already know we're going to be okay. That's actually a good feeling. Oh, look, we can pay back some loans right away. So let's pay these back. We're going to cycle through um, a lot more maintenance costs, and these things are going to be a little bit inefficient until they kind of get their spacing kind of figured out, so I think we're going to kind of dig ourselves a little bit of a hole here just to start, but maybe these can kind of run in the background while we're... <clears throat> just kind of planning our, our bus routes here in town. That is to say, if we, you know, get back into the positives here. Oh, we are going to. I'm just being negative. Okay, so we're going to put in some more bus stops over here. And just, you know, the old-fashioned, just kind of approach we've always done in the past. We're just going to put them wherever we need them type thing. And these will be a combination of some, you know, bus routes, some overlapping with some trams, so we should get a pretty good mix of uh, public transit in and around here. And though we are in the negative now, as time kind of crunches, we should see more and more of a budget in the positive territory here, so... I will cross my fingers. And then the goal is to replace some trains, so moving forward we should be even more profitable. Oh, what do we unlock here? Oh, cool. It looks like a new bus. I kind of like the fishbowl buses that we're using now, so I think we're fine with those. But, you know, maybe we can put some of those in. Okay, so I can't get anything over here because of the way the uh, terrain is kind of sloped, so we can do our old trick. Our poor money is just yo-yoing right now. Wait till we get back on the positives. Oh boy. 
We are just going in a big negative circle. Well, I mean, if needs be, we can always take out some loans, right? That's what those are there for. The rainy days like this. Okay, so we're putting this in just to kind of change the profile height of the uh, the road a little bit. And now, there we go. We can get some, uh, some of these bus stops in. Well, let's see how profitable we are, because we do keep going into the negatives, but we are pulling ourselves out of it, so I'm kind of... Well, I'm confused here, but like I don't even know if we're going in the right direction. I personally think this is a really good route, but we just kind of built right here. I just think we need to run a little bit more more time to kind of see, because all the people are walking around. Yeah, this will be pretty profitable. Right, there's all the people waiting. Okay, so line 49, let's look at that. Get some info here. Oh, it's 47. Yeah, so it's still negative. But I think this is because we haven't given it enough time. The spacing isn't quite there. Not all of these have made full trips yet. You can see as like I'm as I'm speaking, this is starting to move. Uh, I think in the right direction, right? Oh no, it's not. Okay, well, I mean, again, I'm I'm very confident, so I think we'll just leave this be. Give it a little bit more time. We are in the positives here, so focus on the task at hand. But look at all these people waiting. So how could it not be a success, right? Okay. Back to this. So erase this road because we don't need it anymore. That keeps the bus stops there though, which is good. And a little bit uncooperative in some of these areas, eh? Well, we'll do our best. And then these spots on the outskirts, we might not maybe use these right away, but I'm going to put them in just so we don't have to worry later on about it. There we go. And I'm not going to do every side street, especially because we're doing you know so many around this area, but maybe as time goes on, this connects. Or... Maybe we can be helpful and just connect that on its own. Looks like that's a small road. Go like that, and we're somehow in the negatives again. I keep thinking we'll be millionaires by now, right? But that's not the case. Okay, well, let's take out a loan, because this is going... Well, actually, we're profitable at least, but we'll, yeah, we'll take out a loan. Just to kind of get the uh, the building train a little bit more, move a little bit quicker. There we go. That solves that. Perfect. Put that like that. Yeah, there's no faster way to do this. That's okay. Maybe this can be like our raking of the sand, you know, this can be a little feng shui kind of just easing off the stress of the day, a little meditation. I mean, peace and tranquility in place and bus stops, right? Okay. Also, we're in no rush, like, where are we going? Okay. I mean, the most important thing here is to do an efficient layout, so we don't want to miss anything. Now, it's interesting that the streetcars are going up this way. I wonder if that's because... Oh, weird, yeah. Oh, it looks like I've missed this little spot right there. Oh my goodness, of course. Well, that's not very convenient. There we go. That should help our streetcars. Can't believe we made that mistake. What a, what a rookie move right here. Okay, well that'll solve that. Maybe that's also why uh, we're having problems with our our budget too. Oh yeah, look, these are profitable now. Okay, so maybe I maybe I did actually make that um, a little bit ineffective or inefficient. But it seems like we're we're moving in the right direction. Okay. Oh, that's cool. 
Right as we were clicking, that uh, road just kind of popped in. Okay. And really, we won't be using, like, all of these. Like, you guys have seen this before. You kind of know what the drill is here. But I'm just kind of saving us from having to do this periodically, you know, later on, or in the middle of us, uh, making the runes suddenly being like, oh darn, I wish we had to stop here, so. Plus this way we can just kind of chit-chat too. Talk about the random stuff. Talk more about the uh, transport tycoon, holy smokes. Or transport fever, I should say, not transport tycoon. I mean, it looks really cool. I don't know if they have a release date uh, oh, yeah. set or not. Oh cool, go trains, that's awesome. These are, uh, these are like regional trains that we have um, in Ontario, in Canada. Those would be like in and around my city, that's really cool. I think we have to use some of these. In real life, though, they have a locomotive that's um, a part of it as well. I don't know if we get that or not. Okay, so we don't even... It looks like we, we haven't even made a dent in the city. There's so many uh, roads here. Might as well just keep this going. Okay, so judging by our money, I think we are pretty safe. So we should hopefully start uh, being able to save some money. Um, so we can start buying some replacement trains. Because as we we know from experience, they are not going to be cheap. They will definitely be worth their weight in gold, though, if it's a good route that we're upgrading. Okay, well, I think that's pretty decent coverage, all things considering. Maybe just right here. It just feels like you can just put bus stops down forever. Forever and ever and ever. But I think we're okay here. Maybe one last one. That's it. Stop. No more. Okay. So we'll do first the in-town tram routes. Ooh, look at that. That's very profitable, though. So new line. This is for trams. And we're possibly doing one or two routes. We'll kind of see what kind of coverage zone we end up with uh, when we finish this. And I'm doing the trams first, because it might get a little bit confusing trying to follow where the uh, tracks go. Once we get a whole bunch of other uh, kind of roads in a, or routes going through here. Okay, so we'll just kind of sneak our way through the city. And you know what? Until the city grows, it may even just be these two parts. Oh, look at this. Another spot we missed. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Keep on going to our ad station. Um, where do we end up? Over here. Now, do we want to go back down? No, I think we'll just go this way. And so what I was going to say is maybe we could just put the, um, the one route in now. And then once the city grows, like a little bit more on this side, then we can put another route in. And just have a little bit more of a focus on, on buses. Which I think really is kind of the plan anyway, so that's fine. Okay, so that's that route. Just get ourselves going on uh, the other side now. And I maybe should have left the other route open just so we could have the uh, you know, previous stops for reference. But I think we're okay just in terms of color with... Um, uh, the orange here. Pretty unique color to follow along, so. It gives us the helping hand. And then I think for trams, we'll maybe do three on um, on each, just to kind of get us started. Oh, look at this. We've already, we've already deviated from our course. My goodness. So the reason why I'm going sorry, this way is just to get some overlap instead of that way. 14. This is when it may have come in a little bit handy to have the, uh, the other one, but we're okay. Cool. So we'll get rid of this. One, two, three. And I think that would be line 48 and 49. Cool. 
Okay. Go free, my friends. Make us some money. Oh, raise. Now, let's do some buses. Oh, can we get uh, bus lanes through here? So, no tram tracks. Yes to buses. There we go. All right. Buses. Get at least one or two big routes through here just to get the, the city started. Oh, another train. Oh, goodness, no. Our poor trains are getting so old. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, soon we will replace them. And so what we can do is a small bus route, say, like this, that loops back on itself. And then that means we're going to have to do something a little bit different down here. So we'll go... Oh, you know what we could do is just go like this. Let's say go like that. A little bit of a wider loop down here. So maybe this is not the most effective of bus routes. But it is kind of short and just cuts through town like that. So more of like a complementary line. Okay, we'll just put that in. Maybe that can just be, say, three. Oh, we're out of money. Oh, goodness. Does that be line 50? Perfect. Okay, so new line. Oh, neat. Another, uh, another engine. And now this one, we should maybe do, say, this part of the city. And then the other line should be, say, that part of the city. And all of them hopefully going, you know, in and around the uh, train station area. So with that in mind, why don't we go up, say like this. And we'll go, uh, I guess we can go across like this. Let's try to make my way through just streets and areas that don't have transit going through them already but hopefully some overlap at the same kind of same kind of time okay so what is the plan to make this a loop that falls back on itself is that kind of what we're going for again or yeah i think it would make sense to me actually if we were to do let me just back this up a little bit oops that's not what i want this one let me back this up. I'll kind of show you the, the new route I have in mind here. So we're instead going to go this way. Just make our way up through here. Cut through here. And this way we kind of overlap a little bit as well. Kind of share with the other, other bus routes. <clears throat> Ooh, I like this right here, this idea. Cutting down there is kind of nice. And then instead of doing this, let's go a little bit wide just to get that one little extra bit. How about a bad little, little line over here? I kind of like that, it's kind of cool. So we'll keep this up for reference. Now let's do the other side of this. So let's go towards the 17, towards our 16. This might be a little bit complicated, hopefully. Oop, we already missed one. And hopefully it won't be, but we've already messed it up. Okay. And then I'm looking at our money. I think we're still okay. It's this weird battle we're fighting between maintenance costs and new lines becoming profitable, so. As one becomes less profitable, you know, we're, the other one just becomes more profitable. So it's just this weird circle. So I hope we're slowly, slowly, slowly going up. So we do need to be saving money because we do obviously have our loans, but they can only go so far in terms of buying us some, uh, some new trains. 
Okay, so that's two more bus routes done. So let's buy some uh, some vehicles. Oh yes, Toronto CLRV. Oh yes, these things are so beautiful. I love them. Those are obviously more Toronto streetcars, and most of those are still on the road right now. Actually, they're pretty cool. So how's that for some fun? Let's buy three of these. To line fifty-one. And then three more. Perfect. Let those do their work. And of course, the second we buy all of these streetcars, right? That was like five minutes ago. All these new ones are available. That's all right. Okay. So let's now just do our buses over on this side here. And then, same idea. We're just going to hit the train station cut through here. You know what we can probably do is hit this. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's go up this, because this will probably populate a little bit faster. But maybe, because this one already has a line, maybe we can go outward now, this way. Because why not, right? And by that same logic, maybe, oh, no, 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 I see it now. Perhaps this way. Oh, yes. This I like. And then hopefully we'll encourage growth around these bus stops, because we'll be having some, you know, people kind of cruising through. And then we'll come back this way. And what's our most effective route? Just go straight down. Yeah, I think so, right? Okay. And we do get some overlap too, so hopefully this becomes a busier street and can kind of justify having this many uh, lines kind of running through here. Okay, so heading back in the opposite direction. And then I think once we uh, once we finish this, we'll um, unfortunately have to uh, to call it quits here because unfortunately we're out of time. But uh, you know it's great to be playing this again. Like I really like this game. So expect some more episodes a little bit more often. We'll definitely jump back into it. And there's still so much to do. And uh, I, I've been live streaming um, a little bit here and there um, these days. So I was tempted to maybe start a separate little empire, and we could. Uh, do some, li uh, do some live streaming of, uh, of this game as well. So you guys let me know if you're, you know, around and able to make it. Don't really have any days in mind, but maybe we can kind of, uh, you know, pick and choose something together, see what works. And then no matter what, uh, I would probably upload, or I definitely would upload the streams to, uh, to YouTube afterwards. So you guys can, you know, not really miss a beat type thing. Okay, so some more bus stops right there. Our budget still yo-yo. Like I mean, it's I mean this is not really accurate because we're spending so much money on new vehicles, so it's not really. Oh, look, we lost all of our old ones. Oh, out of money. So I'm tempted to take more loans. I just don't know if that's really the best idea. Okay, so lines 53 and 54. And I may have to take a loan just to get these last little buses bought, but... Oh, no, we're okay. Cool. Okay, so that's that. That's this town all wired up, finally. And we've got our... Whoa, profitable trams. Cool. Oh, so you know what we could do? This is something we totally could do. How much are these guys? 207,000. That's not so bad, actually. I think it's actually how much they cost her more or less in real life. It's actually a fair, fairly accurate number, then. Um, okay, so all these new buses, again, it's all just adding to the maintenance costs until they kind of balance themselves out, right? So, again, do we get enough money here before 
I do want to add a couple of these to that in between, like you know, Amarillo line and, and here. But I don't want to do it if it's going to be, you know, negative impact type thing. Okay, and so what I think I might actually do in between this episode and next episode is I might just kind of let the game run for a little bit. I might just upgrade some of our um, fleet because that might just be a little bit boring just to be spending an entire episode doing that. So yeah, starting next episode, expect, if not all of them, just the majority of them to be done. So right now, just based on that, um, I don't mind taking out some loans right now just to kind of maybe buy... Oh gosh, how do we not have enough money here? They just to buy a few of these, right? One, two, three. And that was line, I think, 47, right? Just to kind of put some of those on. So let's repay this. Let's take a really quick look at some of our lines, just to kind of see where they're at, just in terms of profitability, that kind of thing, right? Just I'm curious. And we got a lot of money coming in, so I think things are okay, because I'm able just to kind of quickly repay this. And the interest, I mean, it's not really too much in terms of cost. So for us to be carrying a little bit of loans here, that's not really the end of the world. Okay, so our new lines, line 47, that is extraordinarily profitable. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Yes. Fantastic news. Holy smokes. And then so line 46, 45, these are all some of the newer ones, right? 47, 48. These ones you can see, they're not profitable yet. So these are our in-town ones here. So that we either have too many buses or we just haven't put enough time in yet, but these are kind of things I'm probably going to do a little bit of tinkering just off camera, just so we can kind of get um, kind of the best bang for our buck here. But uh, no, I think things are okay. I was kind of worried that we weren't going to be making, you know, steps in the right direction, but it looks like we are. So you see all these things right here? They all got to be replaced. So we got about $10 million almost in, in loans that we can take out to, uh, to accomplish that, so... That'll be my, my game plan, so I will see you guys in the next episode with a almost brand new fleet, and I look forward to reading the comments, and it's great to be back! So that's it, guys. I wish you all the best, and uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. And uh, happy building on your own. Hope you guys are enjoying this, and definitely look up uh, uh, Transport Fever. See if that's up your alley, and let me know what you think about that, too. Alright, guys, take care of yourselves. I will see you in the next one.